Hey everyone, this is a quick tip for iPhone users, specifically iPhone 4 users. However, it may work on uh, older versions. I actually found this tip off one of my knife forums uh, that I read, which is that's pretty fun. Um, it's not uh, actually this frustrated me for quite a while. Um, you know, it's if you're if you have been a legacy Hotmail user, and you move to an iPhone 4, you probably quickly figured out that you can can't access your Hotmail very easily at all using the standard um, email functions in uh, in your iPhone. You can certainly bookmark it and link to a website, but that's not ideal. So it turns out it looks like in some update they made recently or. I'm assuming it came in an update that was unannounced, but if you you can add your Hotmail account to uh, your um, just your mailboxes. So all you need to do is go to your iPhone for settings. It, I can't show you the screen; it just doesn't show up right. Go to settings. Go to mail contacts and calendars. Scroll down. Go to add account. And you'll notice that there's no Hotmail logo. It'll have Microsoft Exchange, MobileMe, Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, and then Other. So at the very bottom, you have Other. Click on the Other button. Go to uh, Add uh, Mail Account. And all you need to do is type in your name, your email address to Hotmail, your password to Hotmail account, and you can put it in the description. You hit Next, and boom, it's uh, you get it right away. Um, so then you, to check it, you go back to the Mail application. You go to your inboxes, and you'll see Hotmail listed. Um, on mine, I'm getting my inbox just fine. I've read some things that if you have multiple folders in Hotmail, which I really don't, um, you may not get access to those. It comes over just through a uh, pop email account, pop uh, technology rather than um, IMAP or anything like that. So uh, you may miss out on some folders, but hey, you get your inbox without, uh, without issues. So I know that's going to make a lot of people uh, pretty happy. So quick tip, if you're a Hotmail user and you're an iPhone user, Check that out later.